All right, I've added a, a little extension wire for the uh, bow itself because I think the bow is a little too short. And I wanted to lengthen that up a little bit. And uh, I've added a little bit of fringe on the bottom of the uh, beadwork of the arrows. The uh, scabbard, I'll do that on the bottom as well. Um, not going to do it up here. Only because I think the fringe would in, uh, would uh, interfere with the uh, arrows. And uh, so I'm going to hold off on doing it there. Maybe add some there. Time to play with some clay. But right now, I'm going to use some Ronsol. I took a, a, a Brillo pad, and uh, I've cut a little triangle out of it, and then I stuck it on the end of this metal tool because I want to clean up uh, areas of the face. Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but I thought I'd try it. I've never done this before like this. I mean, I use Ronsol all the time, but... I've never tried this method of uh, cleaning up an area, especially something as t tight as uh, the face. I'll probably just switch over to a brush, but I don't know. Thought I'd try this method. Okay, I'll just soften up the uh, texture left by the Brillo. By going over with a soft uh, oil painter's brush. I use an oil painter's brush because it's got uh, really good bristles in it. They, they're soft, but they don't shed. You don't want little bits of hair from your brush in your clay. Now, I still have the ears to do. I think I'll do that today, too. Hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's my Alexa device. Doing it automatically with no prompting from me.
I had too much definition yesterday in this arm. And his arm's not tense, it's just relaxed. And uh, if it was straining the muscles, the muscles would be a little more defined. But relaxed, they're not quite. I want to put just a little more fur texture. Well, not te texture, but form. There's quite a bit of fur around the neck of the wolf. And that's what I'm trying to indicate here. Uh, 
All right. The uh, war party uh, scout is finished. I've got uh, detailing work, probably a couple of days worth of detailing work that I would do if I had an order for one or more to go to the foundry to be cast. I'd just have a couple of days of uh, cleaning up in areas and tightening up in a couple of areas. But basically, it is done, and uh, I'm totally happy with it. Um, So, that's going to be it on this piece, and uh, I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do next. Uh, but right now, this is uh, finished, and I'll be uh, taking it to the uh, foundry tomorrow, along with uh, the Pioneer Girls, who get a bid on both of them. And uh, I don't think I'll be back this week. I don't know. This took a lot less time to do than I expected. I mean, I've only worked on this for just a little over a week in total time, which uh, is kind of a short period of time to work on something. And it turned out better than I thought it was going to. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it. The uh, War Party Scout. I appreciate you guys following me on this one, and I hope you enjoyed the journey. See you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.